Bone Dry, Exterior, Farm Country, Bakersfield, California, Day. An aerial view shows the great circles and long strips of irrigated crops. Exterior, the farmstead, late afternoon, an older house, machine shed, well kept, freshly painted, a late model pickup and a small sedan are parked in front of the house. Exterior, garden, late afternoon, super, August, Mary Shepherd, 42, hair pinned back, dressed in jeans and a t-shirt, picks fresh vegetables from her garden, which is heavily mulched. Exterior, cornfield, late afternoon, Joe Shepherd, 45, tall, slightly heavy, wearing bib overalls, short sleeve shirt stained with sweat and heavy work boots, gets off his big green tractor and walks a field. He rubs the pottery soil between his hands. He looks worried. Interior, kitchen, late afternoon. Mary prepares supper, roast beef, boiled potatoes, salad, jello for dessert. Her daughter Christy, eight, and her son, Joe Jr., run in and out of the kitchen, shouting and getting in her way. Mary, hey, stop that. Christy, cut up these veggies. Junior, set the table. Interior, kitchen, early evening. The family comes to the table. They fold their hands. Joe, we thank thee, O Lord, for the bounty we are about to receive through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary passes the food around, and the family eats in silence. Junior, Mom, can I have some dessert? Mary, clean your plate first. Joe, mind your mother, Junior. Mary, how's it looking out there? Joe, if we don't get rain this week, there won't be a crop. The irrigation water we get just isn't enough. Mary, my garden is still doing pretty well. Joe, you can't use those methods on a thousand acres. Interior, living room, evening. Joe shuffles in and collapses in the recliner. An old grandfather clock that has been in the family for several generations tick-tocks in the background. He picks up the remote and turns on the TV to watch the weather. Weatherman. Tomorrow there's a 10% chance of rain and an expected high of 102. Joe turns off the TV and lights and leaves the room. Interior, bedroom, night. Joe comes in, strips down to his undies, and crawls into bed next to Mary. Mary lies facing the other way. Joe, night. Joe kisses her on the cheek. Mary opens her eyes, but she says nothing. Interior, kitchen, sunrise. Super, September. Nursing a cup of coffee, Mary watches a video on her iPad about the use of swales to capture rainwater. Joe comes in dressed for work and looks over her shoulder. Joe, it's a bit too late for that. Mary pours him a cup of coffee and then fixes his breakfast. She sits down with him while he eats. Mary, did you hear about Johnny Johnson? Joe, yes. You didn't say anything. Nothing to say. We'll go to the funeral. I hope you don't have those kinds of thoughts. Joe stares at his food. Mary, do you? No. Joe finishes his food in silence, stands up, gives her a peck on the cheek, and goes out. Interior, machine shed, early morning. Joe thumbs a well-worn copy of the farmer's almanac, then throws it in the trash barrel. Then he climbs up on the tractor and turns the key. He hears a chattering sound. Goddamn motherfucking piece of shit. He gets off the tractor, goes to the workbench, selects a couple of wrenches, goes back to the tractor, and pulls the starter. He carries the starter back to the bench, fiddles with it. Joe, crap. Exterior, farmyard, early morning. Joe walks out of the machine shed and throws the starter in the back of the pickup. Exterior house, early morning. Joe walks up to the screen door and peeks in, shielding his eyes. Joe, Mary, I'm going to town. Okay, will you be back by lunch? Shouldn't take long. Exterior, implement dealer, mid-morning. Joe pulls up, gets out, takes the starter out of the truck bed. Interior, implement dealer, mid-morning. Joe comes up to the counter and lays the starter on it. The parts man comes over. Joe, got one of these? Parts man, probably. I'll check the computer. The parts man goes to the computer. Still got that John Deere? Yep. What year? 2008? I got one. Be right back. The parts man leaves and returns with a box. I'll just ring that up. Uh, I need to talk to you about that. The parts man waits. Joe, I need it, but I can't pay for it right this minute. Can you give me credit? Let me ask the boss. The parts man leaves and comes back. Parts man. He says no. So many people in trouble, it's putting him at risk. Damn. Sorry. I know how it is. Joe stands at the counter for a moment. 
Hold on to that. I'll be back. Okie dokie. Joe leaves. Exterior. Bank. Late morning. Joe parks and jumps out of the pickup. Interior. Bank. Late morning. Joe walks in and goes to the manager's desk. Delbert Munson, 42, average height, slightly chubby. He has known Joe since high school. Joe. Delbert, got a minute? Sure, how are things going? Joe sits down. Joe, about the same as everyone else. Delbert, been a long time since we've had such dry weather. Joe, yep, you can't sell anything if you can't grow it. Delbert, so what's up? Joe, I need a loan. Tractor broke down. Delbert, sorry to hear that. Can you help me out? Delbert twiddles his pencil. Delbert, I wish I could. You know, I've always been good for it. Delbert, yeah, but you know, you're already over your line of credit. If it was just my decision, I'd do it, but those guys in L.A. don't give a shit. They'd just as soon foreclose as give you another dollar. Joe, so, no way? No. Thanks anyway, see you later. Joe leaves the bank. Exterior, USDA Farm Service Agency, late morning. A small building with a sign in front. USDA Farm Service Agency, Kern County. Joe drives up, gets out, and goes in. Interior, USDA Farm Service Agency. Late morning. Joe goes up to the receptionist's desk. Joe, can I see Jim for a minute? I'll see. She leaves the front, returns a few seconds later. Go on in. Interior, county agent's office. Late morning. Joe walks in. Jim Thompson, 33, rangy and fit, greets him. Jim, how's it going, Joe? Not so good. That's what I hear from everyone. Any idea when they'll pay off on the crop insurance? It's being discussed. Sooner? Later? Jim, probably later. They're doing the Patriot Act and don't want to think about anything else. How much later? A couple of months? I can't wait that long. Most people can't. Joe gets up and leaves. Interior, kitchen, noon. Mary fixes lunch. She looks at the clock. She looks out the window to see if Joe is coming. Exterior, driveway, noon. Mary comes out the back door, wiping her hands on her apron. She sees the pickup truck. Mary, Joe, Joe. She heads toward the machine shed. Interior, machine shed, noon. Mary pushes the big door aside and walks in. She sees Joe hanging from a beam. The other end of the rope is tied to the tractor. Mary, Joe, oh, Joe. She runs up to him and grabs his legs, trying to hold him up off the rope. She can't. She collapses to the floor in a lump, wailing and wailing. Ah, ah.